Hey, Mike with Vanco here. In today's video, I'll be walking you through 15 ideas for Booster Club fundraisers that you should plan today, so let's get into it. Now planning events and fundraisers for your booster program is a great way to raise extra funds for your various programs at your school. So the first idea is to create and sell t-shirts and spirit items for your various programs. So this can be for sports programs, music programs, clubs, whatever the case might be. But it's a great way for parents and students to support their programs. And you don't necessarily need to limit yourself to just t-shirts. You can do t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, winter caps, baseball caps, and much more. Really, the sky's the limit, and you can brand these items for the various programs. You might even consider doing special limited edition merchandise that people can only get at exclusive events that you host throughout the year. Be sure to let people know what the funds are going towards or what percentage of the funds go towards the different programs, and it's a great way to raise additional funds for your many programs. The second idea is to sell coupon books. And so this idea might take a little bit more work as you're going to have to network with different local businesses in your area, but it does have the added bonus of not only supporting your school, it also can help support local businesses. And so you can reach out to local restaurants, local activity businesses, so maybe that's movie theaters, mini golf courses, bowling alleys, the list can go on and on, but put together a coupon book for these different locations. And you also might wanna consider doing a poll to local parents to see what they feel is a reasonable price to pay for a coupon book like this. And once you know that price, it can really help you increase the sales by setting the price for the coupon book at a level that parents are willing to pay. So not only does this help raise funds for your school, it helps parents save money, and it helps support local businesses. So it's a win-win for everyone. All right, the third idea is to host a restaurant night. And so this is another idea where you can partner with local restaurants, and you can work a deal with them where a percentage of all the meals that are sold on a specific day or maybe a week or over a weekend go towards your programs. Again, it's a great way to support local businesses, having parents and families in your community support these businesses and it also raises additional funds for your school and it's a very simple way to add additional funds to your programs. The fourth idea is a coin drive. Now more and more people seem to be using coins and change and even physical money less and less. So a lot of people have these coins just laying around, not doing much. And so it's a very simple way for people to just pitch in, give whatever coins they can, and have that go towards the many programs you're fundraising for. The fifth idea is to do a bingo night. And so there's, again, a lot of options you can do with this. You can do a sort of a raffle format where people will buy tickets going into the bingo, and that will form the pool of prize money that contestants can win. You can, again, reach out to local businesses and see if they're willing to donate items and you can give those away as prizes. You might even consider combining this night with a silent auction where people can participate in that fashion to help you raise additional funds for those that maybe don't want to participate in the bingo night. All right, the sixth idea is a carnival day. So this is a great way to bring the community together and have some fun. You can host this at your school, maybe even a parking lot carnival where you just need to set up a bunch of outdoor tents and you can have booths there as well. Parents, students, and faculty can volunteer to run the booths and you can have a whole bunch of options there. You can sell popcorn, you can sell burgers, refreshments, cotton candy. You can sell general tickets to enter the event as a means to raise funds, or you can simply charge at every single booth and your profits go directly towards fundraising for the programs in your school. This can be a great way to bring your community together and raise funds for your school. All right, the seventh option is a car wash. This is a tried and true classic for fundraising for programs, but you don't have a lot of overheads with this. You just need an access to water. You'll need to get some soap supplies, maybe some rags or sponges to wash the cars, and students can make the signs. So again, you can have players from the specific sports team, or music club or whatever the case might be, being the volunteers washing cars in this event. And you can set up the car wash for $5 a wash, $10 a wash, whatever the case might be, but it's a simple fundraiser to set up and bring in additional funds for your program. The eighth idea is a cookie dough slash candy sale. 
And so this can be a great option as well. Students can reach out to their network of family and friends, and so can parents of these students. You'll just need to find a vendor that is willing to donate a percentage of these sales back to your program. As an added bonus, you can also consider having the students deliver the cookie dough or the candy to their buyers themselves, which can save you a lot on shipping and sending out these different items. All right, the ninth idea is a raffle. And so there's a lot of options you can do with this. You can just simply sell tickets to get into the raffle. You can have a variety of prizes. Similar to Bingo Night, you could offer a cash prize, you could get donations from businesses, you could give away handmade items. Typically, these types of raffles, you wanna offer the tickets at a low price, so maybe it's $1 or $2 a ticket, and people can buy as many as they want. Maybe you even have higher level tickets where there's a big prize. Lots of different options you can do, but raffles are a great way to raise additional funds without a whole lot of headaches and hassles of running a major event for your program. All right, the 10th idea is a bake sale. So this is another great option. A lot of times parents are willing to volunteer baked goods that they make themselves. Potentially even students can make these items as well. And they can contribute these and sell them for a profit. And then again, donating these proceeds to the funds for your various programs. The 11th idea is a fun run. So there's a lot of different options for this. You can do a short run, you can do a long run. 5Ks and 10Ks are very popular these days. So you could sell tickets just to attend and be a part of the fun run. You could ask students to get donations in support of their run. You could also sell t-shirts for the run. I know a lot of people that run 5Ks and 10Ks really like to have t-shirts to take home as a souvenir from their run. So you can include that in the ticket price or sell them individually to increase additional funds from this program, but likely you just need a couple volunteers to map out the event. You can set up the run going around your school or maybe a local park, whatever the case might be, but typically these types of events have a very low overhead, and so it's a great way to bring in additional funds for your program. All right, the next idea is a drive-in or movie night. So this is another great option to bring in additional funds for your program without a lot of overheads. So you maybe just need to rent a projector, you could set this up in your school parking lot, or if there's bad weather, or it's not the time of year that would make sense to do this, you could do this in the school gym or maybe an auditorium and play the movie there. You can charge tickets for people to get in. You could sell simple concessions at the event, like popcorn, candy, and various refreshments. You could even do themed movie nights. So maybe you're doing Christmas movies or Halloween movies or specific sports movies, depending on what sports seasons are going on during the time of year you host this. The simple event and a great way to raise extra funds. The 13th idea is an art sale. And so this is a great option. You can have local artists bring in their art to showcase this. You can offer food and refreshments there as well. You can have students showcase their artwork. And there's a couple of options you can raise funds with this strategy. You could sell tickets just to enter the event, sort of like an art gallery display. And again, you take a portion of those funds and put them back into your program. You could specifically sell the art and proceeds go to the different programs you're fundraising for. Or you could even combine both of those options, charge a ticket price to get in, and then sell the artwork as well. Another option is a dance marathon or a school dance. And so you could set up a dance event where again, people could pay for tickets to get in. You can offer refreshments for sale. You might even hold contests for things like best dance moves or the longest person dancing without stopping. You can even host themed dances, 80s night, 90s night, 50s night, again, whatever the case might be, this is another great option to raise additional funds for your program. All right, the 15th idea is a book sale. Again, this is another great option. A lot of people just have books lying around their house gathering dust that they've read before and are just sitting around doing nothing. This can be a great option where parents will donate their books that aren't being used. You could sell them at a discount and take those profits as a fundraiser for your programs. And for any donated books that don't get sold, you can simply donate them to your school library or community library as another great option to utilize these donated books. But again, really the sky's the limit. Any type of event or fundraising idea you can think of. And one of the best ways to implement that is with an event ticketing software. And so the team at Vanco has put together Vanco events, an all-in-one solution to help you manage and streamline your event ticketing and fundraising needs. So if you'd like to learn more about that, we'll have a link in the description below. On top of that, we've got a bunch of different free resources you can download with tips and ideas on how you can streamline your fundraising events, how you can host events effectively for your program and much more. So check out the links in the description below this video to access those. 
And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out to help you run a successful program. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.